Hello and welcome to Feathercast. My name is Rich Bowen. Today I'm speaking with Brian Demers, who is a PMC member on the Apache Shiro project. So first of all, is it Shiro or Shiro? You know, that's a great question. My uh, <laughs> Japanese name and uh, my English is terrible enough and that is my native language. And uh, so I always say Shiro, but I've right. heard many people pronounce it Shiro and any other thing you can think of as well. Okay. Well, thanks for uh, making time to talk with me. Let's start with figuring out what this thing is. Uh, the The description on the website is uh, a little bit open to interpretation. So I was hoping you could you could uh, fill in some details. So the the website says that this is a application security framework. Tell us what that means. Yeah. So Shiro is a you know Java centric application security framework, right? I, I know you just said that, but um, it's the the real goal is to be able to plug in you know authentication and authorization into your application with minimal effort, right? So uh, no, no matter what application security framework you use, right, the goal is to write as little bit of the security code as possible because in general uh, we as developers do a terrible job at that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so, so the the less you can write, the more you can just plug in and use, uh, the better off you are. So, Shiro really tries to aim, um, you know, the Java servlet centric worlds. All right. Well, that seems uh, that seems like a straightforward idea that that is uh, hard to implement. I, you know, as your shirt says, friends don't let friends build off because we always do it wrong. Um, give, give us some examples of, of where this is used, some applications that are using your framework. Sure. So so I got involved with Shiro uh, years ago with uh, Sonar Types Nexus repository. So the ASF uses Nexus. You know, if you go to repository.apache.org, um, it, it uses Shiro under the covers. And as well, if you use you know the other the other some of the other paths into Maven Central. It also uses Shiro uh, under the cover. So uh, repository or oss.sonotype.org, they all use Shiro. And you know, many, many other companies do too. You know, the idea is you can plug in a, a in Shiro term, a realm, which is basically your authentication or authorization source. So you can use LDAP, some database, you know, some file-based source. Obviously, things you probably shouldn't do, like like hard code things in a file, you could do it, but um, so you know the goal is to be pluggable, and and you know a lot of these sites have been able to use Shiro to, to do that. Let's uh, back up just a little bit to uh, my question about the name. What what's the origin of the name? What does it mean? Yeah, so I was just looking up. So Shiro has been an ASF project for about ten years. Yeah, uh, it'll be ten years. I think the the first the first incubator release was in two thousand ten, right about May. So in a couple of days. So that's that's exciting uh, that I, and I, I didn't know that till just now. Um, but Shiro, uh, his original name was J Security. Um, so I used this, I know it was probably, you know, a, a project before the ASF for a few years. And I got involved uh, in the J Security days, started using it. And then it became an Apache incubator project. It was called Key or Kai. I forget what it was. Or it was for like a day. <laughs> uh, but there, there was problems with with both those terms. So J Security had you know some sort of trademark issue or potential trademark issue, and then uh, Key or Kai uh, did as well. So it became Shiro. Shiro is a um, if I remember right, it's it means um, fortress or castle in Japanese. Okay. So so being strong walls and and that's that's where the name came from. Ten years on, what are you what are you still working on? I noticed that you had a release just a few weeks ago. What's new in that? And and in general, what what keeps you busy for ten years? Yeah, so that's a great question. So there's definitely been a bit of a lull in the projects, but recently we've been picking up new contributors, which I'm mostly that that's that excites me the most because you know I, I don't want to see the project get stale and you know you know how it is. Um, yeah. People come to a project, they do what they need to do. They either switch jobs or they move on, or you know, for whatever reason, the use cases change and they become less active. Um, so we've recently been able to pick up some contributors, and um, they've been they've been pretty active and breathing new life into the project. So we're trying to push towards a 2.0 to be more modern, remove some of the cruft 
some of the things we've deprecated over the years, but we couldn't just cut out because, you know, just to support everyone's use cases. Yeah. So that's really exciting. Um, obviously, so Shiro's biggest hole, in my opinion right now, is there's no OAuth support. So, so that's a great, uh, a great feature for two auto release as well. So I'm really excited to, to get into that as well. So if somebody wanted to get involved in the project, um, you know, in addition to OAuth, what other, what other opportunities are there for, for new developers that are looking for a project to work on? So, I mean, just like every other project, you know, there's everything from fixing documentation, right? So our documentation is, is also a little dated. It's still accurate, but you know, there's, there's ways that we develop Java nowadays that we didn't 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Not that the doc is all 10 years out of date, but you know what I mean? It's a, uh, there, there's things we can simplify or, or new newer ways that you could add to the documentation or just a fresh perspective, right? So just someone coming in, learning a project for the first time has a way better perspective than, than I do because, you know, I just know how it works, right? I, my, right. my writing style is not going to be as clear probably to, to a new, de new developer as, as somebody else. Um, so documentation, obviously general, general bug fixing, every software project has bugs um, and as well as new features, right? So, you know, we're, we're, we're migrating from, um, you know, older Java code. So mm -hmm. it was originally written sort of, I think, uh, uh, must have been like 1.6 Java-ish, right? So um, we recently cut off support for everything under 1.8, which is which is also great. <laughs> um, so, you know, there, there, there's a lot of, great op opportunities to just update code, clean it up, maybe do performance uh, enhancements if, if that's your thing, um, but just general development. And I see that it is still rather a small project. So, uh, you know, a new contributor would have kind of outsized impact on that team there. Absolutely. So I mentioned that um, we're, we're aiming for, a, you know, 2.0 release, which means we can support some newer things. You know, there's been a lot of uh, shakeup in the Java world as well, right? With with the sort of pulling some of the specs out of you know the Java X namespace and mm -hmm. the Carter namespace, which means everybody and their brother needs to cut major versions to support support newer releases. So Shiro coming in at this time, we're we're also going to try to support you know the old packaging namespaces. That's where our, most of our users are. Um, but at the same time, there are probably things we can do to support, um, you know, the new current packages as well. So, so that's another great opportunity for for someone to help come in and contribute. Um, but like, like I said, just making our code more modular to to uh, to support both of those things is would be a win too. What's the? I mean. It's an open source project, so you're never quite sure. But what's the estimated timeline on that 2.0? And what should I be doing today to to get ready for that? How do I transition my application to that when that happens? That that's a great question. We're still definitely in the, the early start of that. Um, you know, after we cut our previous release, um, we said, okay, now now's the time. Um, you know, master is officially the the 2.0 working copy. So you know, I, th I think the, the main goal is for, for users to come in and tell us what they really want. What is really missing? What are the, the pain points? That would be that would be the best thing you could do. Um, the ultimate goal is the touch points for migrating will be very low, right? So obviously, if you're using some sort of deprecated code, you know, um, you're going to be a bit out of luck. But hopefully, you're not doing that anyway. <laughs> and, it, and if you are, you really need to tell us because we are, it's been planned to be removed for a while now. But you know, if, if there's if there's missing features you'd like to see, let us know. As far, like I said, as far as migration, we really hope the touch points and the main package objects are all still named the same. So hopefully, um, you know, the migration path will be nothing for for most people. Mm, okay. um, that's, that's always the ultimate goal, right? But we'll definitely be creating a, a migration guide, regardless of, of that. Just this to show everybody what is actually needed and what's changed. If I want to connect with the community, where do you all hang out primarily? So primarily on the on the mailing list. So that that's sort of the the old gold standard for ASF projects. Um, but we are a few of us are also on the the Apache Slack as well. So we have a share room over there. You can ask questions and you know feedbacks usually uh, a little more immediate, but it ebbs and flows depending on the time zone. 
Email is definitely the best option, right? Because slightly more asynchronous or expected to be slightly more asynchronous. In all of the development, usually most of that discussion happens on the development list. Well, thank you very much for taking time to do this and uh, good luck on that, that path to 2.0. Thanks, Rich. Appreciate it.